liquid rubber DIY here today to show our gutter system. Step one was to wash the box gutter with a water blaster or wire brush. Make sure it's completely dry and clean before going to stage two. Stage two is uh, preparing your geo fabric to suit um, over the seam, this failed seam. Um, so we pre-cut our geo textile, geo fabric before diving into the waterproof sealant. Here we go. Remove your piece of geo textile. Best time to do this is in the shade or early in the morning. Definitely not when the rain's coming. I'm gonna lay it in like that. You want to get it nice and flat, no crinkles. Start from the middle and work your way out to the outside, making sure there's no air bubbles underneath. And then we're going to use our rapid cure spray to set it. Get it nice and even. Perfect example of uh, why they have leaks around this overflow pipe. Failed uh, clear silicon holding the moisture in, making it rust. Pre cut piece of geo textile. So we're going to put a nice coat around there. The waterproof sealant will stop any of that rust from growing anymore. This will end up getting three coats. Video fabric. Make it nice and even. Followed by our rapid cure spray. It'll turn the chocolate brown to black once cured. Stage three, we're going to apply waterproof sealant by brush and roller. So it's usually best with three people in the shade or afternoon or early morning. One roll, pause and rolls, and the other one, other two brush both sides. Rapid cure spray, like to let it settle a bit to try and get a few of the roller lines out. Stage three, applying second coat by the spray gun. On this coat, we're going to broadcast some grit into the wet product, waterproof sealant, followed by the rapid cure spray. With, with the grit going onto the waterproof sealant, as we're putting on the gutter armour or the trafficable membrane in white after this process, it just keys it in with the UV white coat. Liquid Rubber DIY here today to show you the how to mix and apply the traffic wall coating to the cured waterproof sealant that we did last stage. Here we go. So you get a vortex in your your coating. He's going to add the. the Continue to 
stir this for a couple of minutes and let it set, sit for a couple of minutes before you start frying. Okay, so we're gonna uh, do one coat here and another coat tomorrow. show you how to apply a second coat to the first coat cured trafficable coating. And it will spread out beautifully. <laughs> 